Hey guys, we are going to be practicing using the uh, line tool in Google Drawings uh, to create some shapes. Uh, this is going to be a little practice exercise for you guys to prepare you for our next uh, project that we're going to be doing here in graphic arts. So we already practiced a little bit with the Google Drawings application. You guys got to draw a house for our last in-class assignment. And today we're just going to be practicing a little bit more with uh, tracing different kinds of shapes using the line tool that you have here in Google Drawings. So your directions for this little practice worksheet are over here on the left hand side. You are going to trace each shape using the line tool of your choice. I recommend using the polyline tool or the curve tool, but don't be afraid to get creative. So all of these line tools are located up here on your toolbar. Uh, this is going to be the area where you're selecting your lines. Um, currently, I have the polyline tool, which is one of the recommended tools I suggest you use. If you click on the little drop down arrow, you'll see lots of different kinds of line tools that you can use. Again, the polyline and the curve tool are the two tools I recommend for this practice, but feel free to experiment with the other tools if you want. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and choose the curve tool because I am going to do these first two shapes, which are the circle and the oval. Um, I find that if I zoom in using my magnifying glass tool, it's a little bit easier to see the shapes and the lines that I'm about to trace. Uh, so you can always use that zoom or magnifying glass tool to zoom in. And then once you want to zoom back out again, you can just click on the little arrow. And I usually go to fit and that will just fit the image back on your screen the way you found it. So I'm getting my curve tool here from the line selection menu, and I am going to start tracing the shape of my circle here. Um, I'm gonna keep my little clicks uh, to create my shape short. Uh, the shorter I make them, the more easily I will be able to trace this line. And as you can see, while I'm tracing, a little blue guideline appears to kind of show me, you know, a little preview of what the shape I'm tracing looks like. So the curve tool, you know, naturally wants to form the shape of a curve as you're going around. And I'm just gonna go all the way around until I connect my line and it's gonna create a curved circle. It is not perfect, but we're not going for perfect shapes here. We're just trying to practice and getting them as close as we can. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and zoom back out. The next step, once you have traced your shape, is to fill it with a color, either a solid color or a gradient. So we're going to go over to the fill tool right here, this little paint bucket, and we're going to choose a color. Uh, you have a selection of solid colors to choose from. You can choose any of these colors. I'll go ahead and choose red, and that's going to fill my circle in with color. I can also change the outside lines. If I click on here on my arrow and I just kind of click to get rid of that border, I can see that my shape here has a red uh, inside. And if I move it over here, so you can see it a little bit better, you'll find that it has a uh, black line around it. So if I kind of zoom in, you can see that. And I can change that black line by clicking on the border color. And I can change that line to be any color I want. So if I click on yellow, that line going around my circle is yellow. So that's not required, but it's something that's just good to know on how to change the colors of your lines and the colors of the insides of your shape. So I'm going to zoom back out again so we can see, and I'll go ahead and hit Control Z to undo that and just put my circle back where I found it. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next shape, which is my oval. So I'm going to zoom in a little bit so I can see that better, and I'm going to click and using just short little segments, I'm going to go all the way around and trace the shape of this oval. 
Again, we're not going for perfectly, perfectly traced shapes. If we wanted a perfect circle or a perfect oval, there are other shape tools that we could use to achieve that. But for right now, we're just doing our best to practice uh, tracing these lines with the polyline or the curve tool. So now I have an oval and it's red because that's the last color that I used. But I think I'm gonna make it a little bit different. I'm gonna go in and instead of using a solid color, I'm going to use use a gradient. A gradient is a shift from a dark color to a light color. So we have a couple of different options to choose from here. Um, the first row on the bottom is a radial gradient. So that means that it is lightest in the center and then gradually gets darker as it moves out from the center in kind of a circular pattern. And then the other selection is a linear gradient, which means that it goes from dark to light from top to bottom. So I'll go ahead and choose a linear gradient to show you what that looks like. So you can see that the inside of my shape goes from dark to light from bottom to top. All right, so I'm moving on to my next shapes, and these ones are pretty easy. They are triangles, and that means we can use straight lines to trace them. And so I'm going to choose the polyline tool because unlike the curve tool, the polyline tool allows us to create straight lines and sharp corners. So I'll go ahead and all I need to do is click at the first point. It's gonna create a line, I'm just gonna drag it down and you can see as I move this around, this line kind of follows everywhere my mouse wants to go. So I'm just gonna drag it all the way down and click to make it stick there. And I'm going to move across to the next point and click to make it stick there and then come all the way back to connect my three lines. And now I have my triangle shape. I'm gonna go ahead and choose a different gradient to fill it in. I'm going to choose a radial gradient this time. I'll choose this blue one right here so you can see what that looks like. So you can see that the center is the lightest color and as it gets out towards these corners of my triangle, it gets darker. So I am going to continue to trace each one of my shapes uh, using either this polyline tool or the curve tool. You're gonna be choosing the tool that you think will work best for you depending on the shape you are trying to trace. So obviously if you're down here and you're tracing the crescent shape, this kind of crescent moon shape, you know that you're gonna to have to create a curved line. So the curve tool may be the best option for you. Uh, for the star, it's all straight lines. So the polyline tool may be the best option for you. And again, do not be afraid to experiment with the other shapes here, the other line shapes. Find the best one that works for you. The two other things you need to make sure that you are doing to complete this tracing assignment is to make sure that you are filling all of your shapes with either a solid color or a gradient and you need to be using at least four different colors uh, and two different gradients so i have a red gradient and a blue gradient. So that counts for my two different gradients, but I only have one solid color. So that means I would have to come down here and trace um, my shapes and use at least three different colors. So I will go ahead and do my square, which is pretty easy, all straight lines. And I'm gonna fill it in with a solid color. And I'll go ahead and just choose blue. I'm going to use my polyline tool again to trace my rectangle. Shouldn't take too long. All straight lines and I'm going to choose a different color. I'll go ahead and get my polyline tool back. And I'm going to trace a, another shape. I'll go ahead and trace my trapezoid here. I'm 
All right, and I'm gonna choose one more different color to fill that in. So now I have four colors and two gradients. And I'm just going to continue tracing the rest of my shapes until they are all filled in. And I know now that I can make them whatever color or gradient that I want because I have met the requirements of having two gradients and four different colors. So have fun with this, get creative with your line tools, and uh, you're going to finish tracing all of these shapes and once they are all traced in, you are going to turn this assignment in to Google Classroom. This Google Drawings document will already be attached, so all you need to do once you're finished is to turn it in. Have fun.